Hi you guys. So today I have a big box of Lush because my Valentine's stuff that I bought has arrived in this big old box. So now I'm going to open the box and show you what all is in it and see what I think of it. So today I have my Lush Valentine's order that I ordered from Lush UK about a week ago and received it a few hours ago. And so now I'm going to go through the products and show you them and tell you what they smell like to the best of my ability and stuff like that. So first I ordered, well first let me say that there are a combination of returning Valentine's products this year and brand new uh, Valentine's products this year. This is a bath bomb. I bought two of them. It's a new product for Valentine's this year in 2021, and it's called Heartbeat. This one is made with rose oil and rose absolute. It's a lot of rose, and it's got these gold, little bath melts in them and that color of rose pink is so gorgeous it smells like rose if you guys like the rose argan scent um, a rose jam scent uh, you will probably like this it's um very rosy but it's not very perfumey, like an old lady kind of a rose perfume, if that makes sense. I know a lot of you are like, well, I don't like rose perfume because it smells like an old lady, but this doesn't. Um, to me, this doesn't anyway. So this is Heartbeat. So I will definitely demo this bath bomb in the tub for you soon, in the next day or two. So that's Heartbeat Bath Bomb, new this year. And then we have the Love Me Do Bath Bomb this year, which is new. And it's wrapped in a muslin cloth and it's got a lot, I don't know if you can see through the muslin, it's got a lot of rose petals in here. And so Lush makes another bath bomb that's wrapped in muslin called Deep Sleep, I think it is, which is one of my favorites, and it's purple. This one looks like it's pink color, like a rose color. And if you don't like rose petals or flower petals in your bath, you they will stay inside the muslin bag. Um, if you wanted to open it, then you will have petals all over your bath. Sometimes I like flower petals in my bath if I'm in the mood for it, and sometimes I don't. So um, so this is nice, and you can, you know, give yourself a slight exfoliation with the muslin bag when the thing is dissolved. So that's really nice. So I got two of those. Love Me Do, that's the name of a Beatles song. Their very first song, as I recall. Um, I wasn't born when they released this song, but I'm such a Beatles freak that I know all the information about them. To me, this smells like it has lavender in it, um, aside from the rose, in addition to the rose, I mean. So I don't know why I'm smelling lavender. Um, maybe there's lavender petals, I'm not really sure, because the ingredients don't list lavender as an ingredient but I kind of smell that, so we'll see. I will be doing a demo and scent description video in the tub with this one as well in the next day or two. And then we have the Blow Me A Kiss reusable bubble bar wand. And I remember one year, a couple of years ago for Valentine's, Lush made a wash card that was this color of red called Kiss Me Quick. And I believe that's what it was called, Kiss Me Quick. It was in the shape of lips. 
and that smell was so good it was like cherryish with rose oh, it was so good i have uh, that in my blog if you want to check it out and this is made with Davana oil and whenever i use a product that lush makes with Davana oil in it it reminds me of the smell of sort of bananas sort of sort of like some kind of tropical fruit scent is what it smells like great scent and as i said this is reusable so you put it underneath the water let it fall on there and then down below it'll make bubbles and then you put it away and let it dry put it away in a soap dish and let it dry and then that way you can use it again for a second or a third bath it's got a hole here i'm wondering if you can make bubbles with this when it's wet and when you're using it in the tub i will uh, show if you can do that when I do my tub demo video for you all of this blow me a kiss bubble bar it smells so good and then we have another bath bomb now this is a bath bomb that Lush used to sell in their stores for about 15 years and then they discontinued it it's called Tisty Tosty Lush has made these in a pink color as an exclusive at the Lush Oxford Street store and I have a video of those Lush has also made them in a giant form um, that I have as a video here on my YouTube channel and on my blog and these are the regular color regular size that they used to sell in the store it's got seven real rosebuds embedded in here and this is made with orris root and rose absolute and it smells very um, beautiful very floral um, it's not too sweet I like it I've always liked it and I was quite bummed when they discontinued it this one is different because it has writing on it it says I choose to love and accept myself as I am in this moment isn't that beautiful loving yourself is very important and I think we don't teach people that enough in school when kids are little because as RuPaul says if you can't love yourself how can you love someone else can I get an amen <laughs> and it's true so I've got a hand-drawn um, little house I call it um, with a heart on it and a tisty tosty inside of it and a folded up aged looking paper with a spell on it and the gift set is called the love spell and sometimes I'll show it to you but it has a tisty tosty inside of it smells so good and sort of powdery orris root and rose and then we also have the love locket a maze ball <laughs> bath bomb this year returning only this year it's not the roller scent or the yummy 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 scent it's the comforter scent this year and I love the roller scent <laughs> the yummy 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 scent so I was kind of bummed but it was explained that the color um, when they mixed it with the other scent it made sort of the color kind of fade so this year they made it with the comforter scent Lush has a bubble bar that's swirly dark pink and white called the comforter it smells like berries it's made with black currant and bergamot Mm, it smells like berries this smells really nice and smooth it doesn't have any kind of a weird note to it like some of the comforter products do it's hollow inside it's a big giant bath bomb it's hollow inside and it has some heart-shaped bath bombs that are different colors just like those little message hearts they sell for Valentine's this makes really great bath art 
I have a video already of it and in my blog and a video tub demo and description, but I'm going to do another video even though it'll look the same. It smells different and I just like making the videos for you. So I'll be uploading another demo of this. And then we have another bath bomb. This is returning this year and this is called Love Boat. It's made with orange oil and grapefruit oil and rose and this has such a good smell. This reminds me of sweet tarts, candies, like sherbet lollipops. Oh, it's just fruity and tart and just mildly sweet and it's got rose in it but it's not it doesn't smell like floral per se. It smells fruity and yummy and this makes gorgeous bath art. I've uploaded a demo video of this last year or the year before um, and have this in my blog with the description and everything and pictures but I will be doing another demo. It's got red hearts that disperse through the water when it dissolves. It makes beautiful bath art pink, blue, and yellow. I can't wait. Such a popular one. Then we've got two massage bars. The first one is a returning massage oil bar it's called Naked Attraction. <laughs> and it's made with jasmine and hmm, this one this one hardly smells like anything. Let me make sure it's made with the same things that it was last year. Osmanthus, Mimosa, and Jasmine. Now last year I didn't buy it because it smelled like the Lust perfume um, and the Godiva shampoo, which I hate <laughs> the smell of, so I didn't buy it. Um, I bought it this year thinking maybe it would smell different. And it does smell different, but I don't know if that's because it hardly has any scent in it or, or what. You can't really tell what it smells like. It just has this very vague, light, semi sort of sweet, fresh scent. So it's pretty innocuous so far. <laughs> At least it doesn't smell like lust. <laughs> I know that everybody likes lust, so I get it. Um, and then the second massage bar is called Rose Argan. It's so beautiful. It's a nice rose pink color. It's got a rose on it and the word lush on it. And this is made with rose absolute, rose geranium, and it smells like the rose jam shower gel and like the pearl massage bar used to smell, but they discontinued it. Um, and like the rose bubble rune, rose jam, rose argan, that's what this scent is and it's a solid massage oil beautiful so it's already kind of coming off you, know, you just rub it like if you if your partner has sore muscles from lifting things or working out you can rub rub the muscles give them a massage with that massage oil it melts uh, with the warm skin contact. And then we have a returning item again, which is called Prince Charming Shower Gel. Every year for Valentine's Day, for the last few years, Lush has made Prince Charming. And it always smells the same and it's always pink, but, it, but each year it comes in a different shade of pink. I've got some that are dark red. I've got some that are, um, medium pink with sparkles in it. I've got some that are bright pink, some that are light pink. So it, this one is a beautiful bright rose pink color, no sparkle. And this is made with marshmallow root and pomegranate. And it's also got, let's see here, grapefruit oil, sandalwood oil, and geranium oil. 
So the geranium lends a sweet floral note to it, but mostly it smells fruity. Mm. It's not quite as strong as I remember, but I can definitely smell it and it smells just like it does every year, which is good. Maybe when I use it, actually use it in the shower, it'll smell stronger. So that's the Prince Charming shower gel. So I may do a demo of this at the sink like I do every year with the Prince Charming shower gels. And then we have watermelon sugar lip scrub. And I'm going to assume that my friend Alessandro, who creates a lot of Lush products, and including their lip scrubs, I'm going to assume that he made, oh my goodness, oh, this smells so good. I'm assuming he made this, uh, created this lip scrub as well. It smells just like a watermelon. Wow, oh, this is really nice. And that pink color is really, really pretty. So this says it's made with castor sugar, jojoba oil, um, maple butter, kernel oil, hmm. watermelon seed oil, bergamot oil, rose oil, and maple butter. Oh my goodness, watermelon seed oil. <laughs> it smells like watermelon, even the green part of the watermelon. I don't know how he does it, but that's amazing. So I can't wait to use this. It's an exfoliating lip scrub to make your lips smooth. And if you happen to get some in your mouth, it's okay because it's edible. It's sweet. It's kind of fruity and floral. I like the way it smells better but it doesn't taste bad. Alrighty. And now there are five bubble bars here, five or six bubble bars that are being sold um, only on the Lush UK site for Valentine's. And some of these you will recognize. Uh, they are part of the Lush Harajuku Japan concept store. Now, Lush released these as exclusives about six months to a year ago uh, on their website, and I bought those at that time. So I've used some of them. There's a couple that they changed the colors of, and um, so they thought they'd bring these out for Valentine's Day. So the first one is the Ladybird Bubble Bar. In the UK, they call it a ladybird. In the US, we call it ladybug. It's so cute. It's one of my favorite Lush Bubble Bars. It's right up there because of the way it's it looks. It's so cute. And the colors, it's red and purple. It's so striking and it smells so good. It has geranium and mint in it. So it's a very light, lightly sweet mint with a little bit of geranium. It's such a nice different scent, very different. And it's that scent is all on its own. So this is a regular squishy type bubble bar. Mm, love it, and it makes a gorgeous color of water. I've uploaded a video of this in the tub as well here on YouTube, and it's on my blog, but I'll do another video too. And then we have the Dirty bubble bottle and this is made in the dirty fragrance scent. Lush makes a shower gel also called Dirty Spring Wash Shower Gel. They made perfume called Dirty, um, all kinds of things in the dirty scent and that's what this smells like. It smells light and minty and herbal. It's a beautiful refreshing, it smells like outdoors, it's really nice. And look at that pink color. Ooh, I can't wait to use that in the tub and demo that. And then here is the Dear John bubble bottle. 
Mm. And this is made in the Dear John Cologne fragrance. Now, one, two, three, four, four of these, four or five of these are perfumes that Lush used to sell at their sister company called Be Never Too Busy To Be Beautiful. Lush made about 15 different perfumes at that boutique and each of the 15 perfumes had bath and body products associated with it. Even incense and candles, lotions, powders, bath oils, bubble bars, bath bombs, shampoos, a whole line of products associated with each scent. So the Dear John scent was a scent that Mark Constantine created to remind him of his dad. It has subtle notes of like tobacco and it's sort of somewhat sweet. It's a really nice fragrance. I remember buying the bottle of perfume, even though at the time it was suggested it was a men's scent, I bought it anyway because it smelled so nice and different. And look at that color. I bet that's gonna make a beautiful blue colored water. So I can't wait to use this bubble bar. All of these are reusable bubble bars. If it says bubble bottle, that means it's a reusable one. And you can use these like three or four times in the tub. A lot of people are like, well, they're too expensive. Well, that's because if you get a regular size bubble bar times three or four, it's about the same price. So that's how much these cost. That's why they're more costly because you get more baths out of them. Next is the 1000 Kisses Deep bubble bottle. Now I have one of these 1000 Kisses Deep bubble bottle bubble bars, but it's red, same shape, it's just red. So I noticed they changed the color for Valentine's Day. And this is made with osmanthus and peach or apricot juice and orange oil and patchouli. It's earthy, but fruity, so gorgeous. 1000 Kisses Deep, they made many products. On my blog, I have many old Be Never Too Busy To Be Beautiful products in the same scent. So I can't wait to use this in the tub. And all of these smell nice and strong. And next is the Karma oh, bubble bottle. Wow, this is so strong. If you guys like their signature scent, Karma, you will love this bubble bottle. Again, you can get multiple baths out of this. You just need to set it in a soap dish and let it dry in between uses. And the Karma is made with orange oil and patchouli and pine and elemi. Oh, wow. This reminds me of sort of like hippies, like head shops in the 60s and 70s. Oh, if you like karma, you have to get this. It's flipping amazing. And last, but certainly not least, is my favorite, the Keep It Fluffy bubble bottle. Keep It Fluffy perfume is my number one or number two Lush perfume of all times in the last 20, 25 years, okay? Oh, it's so gorgeous. It's light and airy and young and floral. It's made with vanilla and lemongrass and jasmine and rose. So gorgeous, so pretty. Um, like a light pink cloud, so gorgeous. So that is Keep It Fluffy. Now, I have a Keep It Fluffy bud bubble bottle from when they released these as exclusives on the Lush UK site about six months to a year ago. And the Keep It Fluffy bubble bottle that I have looks like this, but it's pink. It has those little square stair step kind of design. Whereas the, this new one for Valentine's has these lines going down it. And I noticed that in my I have an old bottle of Lush Keep It Fluffy perfume from Be Never, and I noticed that they made this to look like the lines on the original bottle. Let me go get it. That's what the original perfume bottle looks like. And that's what the 
bubble bottle looks like. Isn't that amazing? They made it look just like the bottle. So I can't wait to uh, smell it. So I used it all up as you can see. <laughs> and um, I'll be getting a new Keep It Fluffy perfume. They're selling them exclusively uh, on Lush UK site and uh, also in Italy in the Lush Perfume Library. And so I have a friend who was able to go there and so she's going to send it to me, which I so appreciate. So that is my Lush unboxing for the Lush Valentine's 2021 products. And let me know, like, are there any that you are like, don't like, or any that you're dying to try? Which one? Which one are you dying to try first? I, I'm not sure. I think what I would like to try first is probably the Heartbeat or the Love Me Do bath bomb. Um, I'm also wanting to try the Keep It Fluffy bubble bottle and this because it smells so good. Oh, and the lip scrub and this Karma bubble bottle. Oh, so also I almost forgot to tell you, I'm not sure they're going to bring this out as a regular year round product, but I think they are. But I found out that there's going to be a sleepy massage oil bar coming out soon. They have apparently redesigned all the Lush Solid massage oil bars. Plus they have one new one coming. And I think I saw a peek of it. I have it on my Instagram and it's called Sleepy Massage Oil Bar made in the sleepy slash twilight scent. So it has lavender and tonka bean and a lang lang and I can't wait. <laughs> so uh, just to let you know about that. And there are about six or seven exclusive products that have come up on Instagram only and via a link on Instagram, you, can, you could buy it. Um, I missed out on one, two, three, four or five of them because I just wasn't paying attention. And uh, one of them is a subscription box from the Lush Labs. Yes, the Lush Labs once again comes up. And uh, this time they have a Lush subscription box and it's called Fresh Flowers. And it's made with products that are um, relevant to their Fresh Flowers store. And all three of the products in the subscription box are new facial products so if you live in the uk only you will be able to buy one just go to the instagram lush dot buying account and they in their uh, profile bio they have a link and if you click on that link you can go to the site and buy that subscription box it's not available to those of us in the states because they have fresh face mask in there and those can't be transported because they will go bad. So just to let you know, there's I'm going to be putting all kinds of exclusive stuff in my blog to show you what they've been coming up with secretly. Yeah. So thanks so much for watching, and we'll talk to you soon on the next Lush video. Bye-bye.